Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we're going to show you how to install HedgeDoc. <clears throat> Um, it was another kind of fun thing that I saw on the self-hosted subreddit. Um, essentially, it's kind of like, <clears throat> it, it can be a wiki, but it's kind of more of a documentation uh, location, kind of like Confluence a little, actually, if you've ever used the last year <clears throat> Confluence stack. It essentially is, you can, you can pretty much edit a, a page, kind of in markdown and then just kind of document or do whatever. You can insert links, insert videos, insert screenshots, do all the headers, do all the code snippets and stuff like that. So it's kind of a good way to kind of be able to show your documentation and, and collaborate with other people on your team. Or if you just need some documentation for your home, that is a great thing to use. So. This video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy the content, want to sponsor me, or send me some free swag or hardware, let me know. My email is in the description below. So, okay, let's get started, guys. <laughs> Alright, so first thing that we need to do is log into our server. <clears throat> One, 128. And install Docker. Most of, most of the stuff that I've actually done recently is actually docker installs which is actually quite nice because then essentially i don't have to worry about um installing multiple packages or worry about you know <clears throat> what operating system or underlying packages needs to be installed so personally i i, I like how they've they've done it honestly um a lot of self-hosted stuff is dockerized and makes it very easy for people to kind of use um but there's always you know the specific configuration to get it to work so while that installs we will update our dns so let's get a dns here we'll edit it real quick docker make sure to update the serial number here and then we will add hedge doc Eight and commit that. Hedge doc. So hedge doc is actually really nice. Um, you know, it it kind of is just you know a markdown editor. Just kind of gives you a good kind of presentation of you. Um, there's there's a whole demo instance that you can do too. And there you go. And you can essentially explore it and whatnot. Um, there's it's it's actually not not too bad, but there's also an installation here, um, hedge doc install docker. And essentially what we'll do is very similar to what is in here. We'll change a few things here where we will actually just use their base instead of specifically coding a version. Um, and we will need to update the values for the domain here this domain and so it's not localhost because we're gonna actually use hedge doc dragon local so <clears throat> now that that's installed we will enable the docker so that it runs on start and then we'll start it start docker then we need to um, install docker compose so that it can use this so what we will do here is copy this via docker compose .yaml, paste this um we'll we'll update the volumes so um we want to just leave it at the base our current existing directory and then update our domain so that it's hedge doc dot dragon dot local and then remove the version so that it would just download the latest version and we don't actually need these down here <coughs> and that should do it so now we can do docker compose up oh, detach so it'll pull down the database run the date start the database because obviously you need a database behind this and then there's the app <coughs> So yeah, so a little bit about Docker, I guess. So you can actually, Docker Compose makes it really nice so that you can actually 
um, specify certain things. So like, for example, you need your database to start before your app starts because your app will try to connect to the database. If it isn't up, it would fail, right? So you got the depends on down here so that it won't actually start until the database is ready. Um, and yeah, so I mean, Docker Compose makes it really nice to kind of do order of operations without needing to like actually like do order of operations manually. <laughs> So that's, that's pretty nice. So now we can see that it has started and we can see that it's actually running on port 3000. So what we'll do is HTTP hedge doc dot dragon dot local on port 3000. And we get the exact same page as what, what they had in our example. So you can actually see, you can explore all the features. You can see how that you can essentially, you know, do headers, do bolding, do desktop, you can upload images. So this is, this is like the example of you can copy and paste and use, um, so that you don't have to like come up with, Hey, how do I do this? Um, so when you actually go in, you can actually do like side by side view on like the editor. So you can see here, like here's Facebook, it's bolded. It has two things to be bolded. So if I wanted to like, Oh, I can't edit this because this is the example one, but I can go back. Um, I create a guest note or I can sign in. In this case, I'll just create a guest note. Um, so I can actually open like a new tab here, go to explore the features. And like, if I really wanted to, I could cop copy everything here, paste it here. And you can see it shows up exactly how you want it. So like, you can see like these warnings, like success, ta-da, you can do, this is awesome, right? Like you can do anything kind of copy and paste. So this is actually really nice because you don't have to like, try to figure it out. They have examples already there for you to just pretty much copy and paste and then put whatever you want in it. Um, the music note looks very interesting um, because I don't, this, I, I actually used to play violin piano and I don't know if I would ever want to type out music notes this way, <laughs> um, but it is a very cool. Um, and you know, you can get diagrams and graphs, you can paste it in. So there's a lot of things that you can do here and it's, it's just already an example so that you don't have to like try to just figure it out. So um, I haven't used this personally myself, but I think I might switch up some of my documentation over to use this actually, because I just found this and thought it was really cool and wanted to share with you guys. So if you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.